So you work a lot with organic farming. Maybe you can tell us what exactly protose needs to be in order to be labeled organic. So organic um, production systems uh, are really well defined now in, in the sense that the USDA and the National Organic Program have set out a set of parameters to help us understand and describe organic. And uh, primarily, uh, these are farm operations that are designed to really optimize biological cycles on the farm and take advantage of uh, sort of natural resources the best possible way that we currently know. So I think what's really important in thinking about farming systems, whether they be organic and conventional, so there's this continuum, there's this line, and there's, there's um, organic agriculture that continues to improve, and then there's conventional agriculture that becomes more and more and more biologically resilient and environmentally resilient. So um, there's now, we have a way of describing it that's bifurcated, but it's not the reality out there of what's happening on the ground. There's a whole range. So organic, um, those farms tend um, to become certified. It's fairly straightforward. You can't use any materials that are prohibited for three years. Those tend to be petroleum-based products and fertilizers and pesticides. Those are the primary things. But if you define organically, organic is what you can't do, it misses the point, I think. It's about all of the things that you do do to try using crop rotations and um, integrating uh, multiple sorts of nutrients and building the soil as well as cover crops. What we're trying to do is really enhance the ability of that system to self-regulate in some ways, to manage pests through by natural enemies in competition to optimize the growing condition so that the crop is actually able to take advantage of the soil and the water resources. Was this guideline for organic produce kind of developed top down by government regulation or was it kind of a more co collaborative thing? It's interesting because I think organic um, production and the definition of it really did develop from the grassroots up. And organic farming, it's been in existence forever, but uh, the actual uh, identity of organic uh, was really cultivated through conversations among farmers that were practicing this method over time. And so the National Organic Program and the USDA recognized that there's all these different definitions of organic out there and we needed to have some clarity around that, especially if we're going to be labeling a food as organic. So what does that mean? So they basically worked with uh, the farming community, but then also through a series of fairly intense dialogues have continued to sort of press on what does it mean to be certified organic. So that's all on the National Organic Program website. It's an easy place to find a lot of information about what are the practices that are allowed or what are the materials or what are the strategies that are promoted. But I do tend to I like to talk about organic, about what it is, which is really creating a biologically and environmentally resilient system, and that we're all headed there and we're all trying to make it better.